When you're not feeling good about yourself, you can either sit there and whinge about it, you can get off your butt and change it. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is about intermittent fasting. I'm going to share with you my experience, my journey, and what has worked for my body, both physically and mentally. So I was introduced to like a 24 hour fast almost 10 years ago. If you follow me on my YouTube channel, you may have seen my before and afters and how I lost 15 kilos. Well, whilst I was on that journey of paleo and working out, uh, a girlfriend of mine had been to Austria to one of the top health spas, came back with a wealth of information, but one of her biggest things was about fasting and how good it was for the body. And so we would try to do it once a week and it was so hard not to eat for 24 hours. And then it actually, time with time and discipline, it got easier. And then as years have passed, I dropped it. I didn't do it at all. And to be fair, I had put on, of the 15 kilos I'd lost almost 10 years ago, I put on seven kilos because my mum had passed away. And the grief and the sadness and I just put on weight. And apparently with grief, you hold it while you're, while you're grieving, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that. I was trying a lot of different things and I was trying to do clean paleo. And then I thought, well, is it my hormones or I couldn't seem to shift this, this weight. And I thought, you know, I can't do 24 hours. I just didn't have the discipline. I couldn't do it. I thought, when do I get, when am I my hungriest? When do I weaken? When do I break? And it was, it's always pick up, 3.30, 4 o'clock, when I've got to do the school runs, when I've got to prepare the snacks, go and get the kids and be with them, and then dinner time. And I thought, well, why don't I try going for as long as I could? And it was 20 hours. So I was fasting for 20 hours and eating for four. So that was between 4 and 8 p.m. and then I would fast. So for me, it was initially getting into the 24, not 24 hours, but you know what I mean, 24. And I found that quite easy. And I did it every day. Well, five days. I think on, on I'd do Monday, Tuesday, break Wednesday, do Thursday, Friday. And it took about six weeks and I finally dropped the weight. As I looked into it more, you hear more about the 16-8 which I quite happily do. I do either 16, eight or 24, depending on how I feel. And you've got to listen to your body because that's really, really important. Again, this is my experience, my journey. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a specialist, but I would like to put in the link of Thomas that will come in there. He really breaks down the science behind fasting. The most important thing with a fast is being able to fast for at least 16 hours because that is when, it's called autophagy, it's when the cells start to rejuvenate. This is when it becomes great for anti-aging, um, you know, for the, the exterior, but also the internal physical side of it. It is, you know, you're, you reboot your organs, your digestive system gets to stop. You think of all the food we eat all day long and it's like 50,000 sit-ups the whole time. That digestive system gets to rest and that is so good for the gut. It's so good for the body. It's so good for the mind. I have some girlfriends that fast and they eat almonds. I go, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, just, I'm fasting but I'm allowed nuts. I go, and look, do whatever works for you. But it's about everything I just said, but letting the digestive system, system rest. If you're eating nuts, it's working, it's got to digest it. So how I do it when, when I fast is lots of water, um, coffee. I don't, I don't put any um, almond milk or cashew milk in your coffee. I think you might be able to, but I just try to keep it pretty clean. Teas, herbal teas, um, no smoothies, no juices. You can't put anything that might... Um, get the digestive system working again. It's actually a part of my lifestyle. During the week, I fast, I do 16, eight, at least two days a week, and the 24, I'll do one to two days a week. I really do it based on how I feel. If you're tired, there's no way I'm gonna do a 24, because there's no way I can get to, to four o'clock. Well, if I'm doing a 16, eight, I will finish at eight, 
and then eat at 12 and that's so easy for me but we but I eat with the children and I eat early but if I can't I'll do nine to one so 16 8 really works for me and can I just say I was one of these people that used to preach breakfast is the most important meal of the day clearly it's not because there's so much science behind this now to me there's only win-win with fasting and if you haven't tried it it is something I absolutely recommend I can work out without eating, but I always, okay, to be fair, I could always, I always prefer to work out without food. Not that I'm working out that much these days, but my physio and anything physical, I don't need food. I feel my head is clearer as well. How to break the fast is one of probably the most important tips I can give you. Again, which has worked for me. You must break your fast with good fats or protein. I've always kept it to that. I've actually just filmed a video where I show you about five, I think, paleo meal recipes on how to break a fast. So those are my meals and the meals that, that work for me, um, but that will be up on my YouTube channel after this video. I know a lot of people associate fasting with keto. Uh, I'm not keto. I think you've got that by now. I'm paleo. I'm a paleo girl. Paleo is a lifestyle for me and it's coming up to 10 years. So does intermittent fasting work with paleo? Absolutely. Can I just say too, I tried keto. I tried it for about three days. I tried so hard. I couldn't get the fat. I couldn't do the fat intake that I needed. It was just too much. I find with paleo, for me, it's just balanced. It's just balanced. I don't need to go into ketosis. <laughs> and I know a lot of people think paleo is like, God, you can't eat anything. You can. Look at my YouTube channel. <laughs> there is so much you can eat. So it really complements my lifestyle. And you know, if you want to talk about the physical and weight loss, it is unbelievable. It is the easiest, easiest if you can get into the rhythm of fasting, the easiest and quickest way to lose weight and to keep weight off. My usual, after three kids and all my weight loss, my, my sitting weight was about 64, 65. Now, my natural sitting weight is 62, 63. Actually, can I just say, if you're about to start this or start fasting, you must weigh yourself because it is phenomenal, the results you see. Can I tell you a quick little story? You know I love sharing what, what I think works and that can benefit your health, your physical health, your mental health, your mind, your body, and, and the aesthetic. If that's important to you, if you look good, feel good, feel good, look good. It, they all, they complement each other. So I have a girlfriend uh, who I went to school with. Her name is Kath. I've named you. I'm going to name and shame you. <laughs> Her name is Kath. We went to school in New Zealand together. We've been friends since we were 13. So a long time. And about five years ago, you know, she's always tiny in, in size. And about five years ago, she started whinging about her weight and she'd put on weight. I think she put on about five, six kilos and whinging and whinging. <laughs> She's gonna hate me for this. To the point where I went, stop, stop, stop whinging about it, do something about it. I said, I challenge you to do paleo for 30 days. What's 30 days out of your, out of your life, out of your year, out of your next five years, out of your next 10 years? Of course, she did paleo for 30 days. She dropped five kilo. It's important I tell you that story because five years later, we're talking, you know, we, we WhatsApp all the time. She'd put on a bit of weight. Now, it's not about the weight, it's about how you feel. And she wasn't feeling good. And when you're not feeling good about yourself, you can either sit there and whinge about it, or you can get off your butt and change it. I knew she wasn't feeling great in her skin. And why I'm smirking is because we laugh about this. Because what she continued to say is, I think it's my hormones. Kelly, I think it's my hormones. I think I might be perimenopausal. I think, you know, that my body's changing. I think it's my hormones. And I'd done this at one point when, when I put on all that weight. And I didn't know if it was grief, if it was hormones, it was a number of different things. And I said, you know, just stop about the hormones. I said, why do you say that? It's because we read about it. We read about it. Menopause means you're going to put on weight. Perimenopausal, menopause, menopause, weight gain, weight gain, weight gain. Rubbish. And I know that because I'm menopausal right now and I'm going to do a video on that. So I gave Kath a challenge just before I went out to Australia in October. 
We had six weeks and I asked her, I said, can you please try to fast? She was so adverse to this because she is such a foodie. I mean, she cooks beautifully and she loves her food. She was like, I just don't know if I can do this. I, I said, please, just six weeks. I said, as long as you do tw twice a week, 16, eight, twice a week, you work out your times and, and then as long as you break your fast with good fats or protein. Kath is not paleo, Kath is not keto, but she broke her fast with good fats or protein every time she did the 16-8. Then she would eat what she eats, but not excessive sugar or carbohydrates, but if she wanted a sandwich, she'd have her sandwich. She lost seven kilo, seven kilo. So this was last year. So has she maintained her healthier lifestyle? Absolutely. Does she fast every week? No, but does she fast? Yes. Does she do the 16-8? Yes. Is it a part of her lifestyle? Yes, because she's seen the benefits. And she's also researched the anti-aging benefits and also the just the internal, what it does for the body, the benefits. I know this has been a longer video and a lot of this, but I do love to share my personal experience and also share the experience of those that will let me that have gone through something like this. So that is my intermittent fasting experience. I'd love to hear what yours is. If you wanna make a comment, let me know. And any tips, I am a big believer in you never stop learning. So if there's anything else you wanna add that I could try, I'd love to hear about it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I make lots of other videos on paleo, beauty, lifestyle. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't, I don't wanna know about it. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. and if you would like to know when I upload a video, um, please just click on the notification button and I will see you in my next video. I'd l can I tell you a quick little bit? <laughs>